Hello everyone. Today we are in the programmable peripheral interface which is PPI decoded for 8255. Here are some features are given. It is programmable device. It has 24 IO that means input output programmable pins TTL capabilities and improved DC dividing or driving capabilities. The pin diagram of PPI8255 is given. From 1 to 4 we have PA that means port A 0 to 3 and from 40 to 37 we have port A4 to port A7. In the 5 and 6 we have read and chip selection. In 7 we have ground. In 8 and 9 we have the address section and from 10 to 17 we have the port C section from 10 to 13 we have port 7 to port 4 and from port 14 and from position or pin 14 we have PC 0 to in the 70 position we have PC 3 in the eight 18 port we have port B 0 which is starts and go through the 25 number pin which is port B 7 in 26 we have the VCC or voltage apply in 27 to 34 we have data lines where the 34 to 27 it goes from D 0 that means data 0 to data 7 in 35 we have reset and 36 we have write 37 to 40 we have already discussed you have seen that in the read chip select and write which is port 5 6 and 36 have a bar up on them the bar denotes that those are active low so when the voltage or input is low then the read chip selection and write works functions of pins here d0 to d7 are data buses here are 8 bit bidirectional data buses chip select cs this is active low signal which we have di discussed late uh, further now the read section which is also active low and write is also active low which we have discussed now in the address section we have address A0 and A1 if the address is 00, 0 then the we will select the port A that means PA if the address is 01 we will select port B that is PB if the address is 10 which is port C and if the address is 11 we will select the control register reset this is used to reset the device from P A0 to P A7 that means port A0 to port A7 it is a 8 bit bidirectional IO pin which is used to send data from peripherals to the receiving devices of the peripherals now moving on next PB0 and PB7 are similar which are called port B which starts from 0 to 7 are similar to port A now port C which denotes as PC0 to PC7 there are also 8 bit bidirectional IO ports and those lines are divided into two groups from PC0 to PC3 are the lower groups of port C and from PC4 to PC7 are the higher groups of port C those are the two groups of port C now moving to the next this is the block diagram of programmable peripheral interface which is PPI here we can see first of all we have the data bus buffer which is bidirectional and connected with D0 to D7 and it's directly connected with the internal bus then now we have two groups group controller A and group controller B which are connected with the read write control logic in the read write control logic we have write read 
address reset and control signal which generate a pulse and then send it to the groups group B and group A. Group A and group B are also connected with the internal bus and then the signal goes to the group A section which have port A and port C and group B section which have port C and port B. The bidirectional connection between internal buses of groups and ports are conducted here. You can see in this diagram that group A have port B with 8 ports but group A have port C with the upper port C ports. Upper ports are from PC7 to PC4 and the group B contains of port C with lower bits. Lower bits are PC3 to PC0 and the group B and port B have 8 bits. So this is the block diagram of PPI. This is a very important for your exam question. Now, data bus buffer. It is a 8-bit bidirectional data bus which is used to interface between 8 to 5 5 data bus with system bus. The internal bus of the output pin is D7 to D0. The direction of data buffer is dedicated by read-write controller logic. The read-write control logic, the control signals are read and write, the address signals are A0 and A1 and chip selection in 8255 operation is enabled or disabled by the chip selection. Now we are in the group section. In group A and B we have some parts. In group A we have port A and the uppercase of port C. In group B we have port B and the lowercase of port C. In port A we have 8 bit buffered IO latch. It can be programmed as in 3 modes. Port A can be programmed in 3 modes. Mode 0, mode 1 and mode 2. In port B this is also 8 bit buffer latch but it can be programmed by only 2 modes. Mode 0 and mode 1. So from that we can easily say that port C it can be programmed by bit set or reset set operation and it is special into two parts and it is 8 bit unledged buffer input and also an output is less. So the points of port A, port B and port C are very important for exam question point of view. So moving to the next. Operation modes. We have already discussed that here we have three modes. In mode 0, it is simple input and output. In this mode, two 8 bit ports, port A and port B, and two 4 bit ports, port C upper and port C lower, are available. Features Any port can be used as an input or output port and output ports are obviously latched and input ports are buffered but not latched. Ports don't have handshaking or interruption capabilities. Those are the features of mode 0. Now we will discuss about mode 1. Two groups of group A and group B are available in the stop section. Each group contains 8-bit data I.O. ports and 4-bit control ports. 8-bit data ports can be either used in input or output. Both the input and output are latched. Output of 8-bit port is C. In this section, P0, PC0 to PC2 are used to generate control signal for port A and PC3 to PC5 are used to generate control signals for port B in the mode 1. The line PC and P7 may be used in the independent IO lines. Now we are finally in the mode 2 which is stopped bidirectional mode. Here port A is working as a 8-bit bidirectional and 5-bit control ports from PC3 to PC7 are used to generating accepting the handshaking. 
So the we can say that the mode 2 allows the handshaking signal for port A. Both the input and output are latched. Port B and three lines of port C which are port C to port C0 may be used in either simple input output in the stop mode. So those are the functions of mode 2, mode 1 and mode 0 in the operational mode.